Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Game of Trades and this is going to be a technical analysis of the S&P 500 index. So it's been a long run for the S&P 500 from early October we've pretty much gone non-stop uh, to the upside in the S&P 500. Uh, this is actually a very nice breakout. So if you are long-term bullish on the S&P 500, this definitely uh, checks uh, the boxes. Uh, this is a huge impulsive move uh, to all-time highs. Uh, that is definitely what you'd want to look for in a breakout to all-time highs. Now, this move was actually so bullish, in fact, that uh, the MACD divergence that I was talking about uh, last week uh, has actually been burnt through. Uh, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, we did have uh, divergence here on the MACD. Um, and that would look something like this. Uh, where the price continues on uh, higher uh, in price and the MACD actually starts to wane down and that actually indicates a potential correction uh, that will soon come and you know guess what happened we had the uh, break of trend line here uh, and then we had a nice correction this is the typical kind of trade setup that I love to trade uh, just because of their uh, first of all high probability and how simple they are. Uh, it's just a nice break of trend line and you carry it all the way down to the next uh, support level and you can determine your targets with Fibonacci retracements, uh, etc. Uh, this rally has actually been uh, so powerful that the MACD and the RSI both do not have divergence anymore. Now I am making this video for a reason. I do believe we are uh, coming into a correction in the S&P 500, a smaller uh, correction at least to uh, these levels, and I'm going to go into detail. And these can either be the beginning of something actually uh, bigger uh, than what we're predicting here, and that would leave a nice opportunity if you're shorting at the top to uh, ride it all the way down uh, to this level and potentially lower to make a huge profits uh, if you're bearish on the S&P 500. And if you are bullish, it does let you have precise points where you can reinvest in the S&P 500 if you're a long-term uh, buyer uh, in the stock market. And now let's start looking at the hourly chart and see where we can go uh, in the S&P 500 in the next few days. So you can see we have a nice uh, trend line here uh, with a wedge type uh, pattern with a contracting uh, price action. This is again typical uh, reversal pattern uh, we see on the hourly chart and we do have the divergence on the MACD here. You can see the, the MACD starting to go down, the MACD is going up and we have that sell signal uh, with the impulsive uh, break of trend line. Now again these are typically high uh, probability trades but they do sometimes fake out so you do need a stop loss uh, typically right above the wedge pattern. I usually place my stop you know, half a percentage above that B uh, right here. And for someone that isn't short yet uh, in this trade setup, a break below the 32.16 level would trigger a move down uh, all the way to the 31.54 level and potentially a move down all the way to the 30.97 level right here. Now these aren't just random levels, as I said, uh, these are both support levels and Fibonacci retracement levels uh, that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, you can see we have reactions uh, off of this level right here, uh, multiple reactions. So this is definitely a valid support level. And using the Fibonacci retracements uh, from the bottom of this move uh, to the top, you can see that it coincides with the 50% uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement level. And what I love to do with Fibonacci retracement levels is actually uh, get clusters of levels. Uh, so we're going to uh, take the uh, Fibonacci retracements levels from this move down all the way to the top here. And you see that also coincides with another Fibonacci retracement level, which makes this an extremely likely bounce point uh, and an extremely good target uh, for this trade setup. We have both this uh, retracement level uh, the 50% retracement level off of here, and it's also a good support level 
uh, to bounce off of. This is typically how I uh, align my targets uh, for a trade setup. Uh, and you have the same thing with uh, this uh, second target right here. It actually uh, aligns right with the 38% Fibonacci level, uh, which is an extremely likely uh, correct counter correction uh, level. So now I'm going to talk about what you can do about this trade setup if you are uh, bullish in the long term or uh, if you are bearish in the S&P 500. And I know that there's an extreme mix of the two on my channel. I see both bullish and bearish comments, so I, I feel like I owe uh, both. Now, obviously, you can trade this uh, correction uh, whether you are bullish or bearish on the S&P 500. These levels would be entry points uh, to reinvest in the S&P 500, uh, both here and here. And if you are bearish, the ideal situation would be to hit the target and lower your stops as you go down to book profits. And that's something that I uh, cover a lot in my uh, videos. And that is the fact that you can actually let your uh, good trades run on forever by lowering your stops and seeing how far this trade will go down. And that is a very useful strategy that I've used many times uh, over the years. And it's one very simple rule in technical analysis is that you have to cut your losses with stop losses and let your winners run by lowering your stop losses. And if, if you can just do that, your analysis can be very mediocre and you'll still be able to make uh, nice profits uh, trading. So that's about all I wanted to say uh, in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.